Okay, um, hi guys, this is Charmander Chase again, and, um, I figured out what I'm going to talk about, so, um, yeah. Okay, so, I go to the school, and, um, there's, where, it's independent study, and so, I have noticed that every, like, day of the week is, like, when all, like, the cliches come out, like, Monday's hipster day. And on Tuesday, just a random assortment of indie kids shows up. And Wednesdays is just straight up goth kids. And on Thursdays, all the punks and stoner kids show up. And on Fridays, it's just whoever, it's it's a mixture of all of it thrown into one. But, um, so I normally go on Wednesdays. And, um, there are several, like, goth looking kids. But there's one in particular, okay, he, like, I guess he was new. And he, so he walked into the classroom. And he's got, like, the, this awesome hair, okay? It's all, like, it was pulled back. And, um, it, like, looked like a mohawk. But you know, when he took it out of his rubber band, it, like, cascaded down to where he has long hair on this side of his head and this part is buzz. And he walks around in, um, these, like, these docks and, like, these bondage pants. And he wears band t-shirts all the time. And he's got all these piercings and he's totally goth looking or whatever. And so he looks like all hardcore and menacing, right? And like, every time he passes by me, he's got this glare on his face, like, and like, he's gonna try to kill you. So, um, no one really said anything to him. And so, uh, so it's been like six weeks since, like, I've, like, since he started showing up. And, um, he had never talked before, ever. I've never seen him talk to anybody. Nothing. Okay, so. Um, like, there's other goth kids there, like, there was this kid who showed up once, I don't remember his name, he was completely, oh, with eyeliner on, well, I don't know, maybe he was emo, I don't know, I, I think he, I'm pretty sure he was goth, because emo kids are like, oh, hi, I'm emo, and he was just like, hey, okay. all quiet, but whatever, um, so, uh, basically, he, uh, he was like, oh, hi, and that was the end of the conversation. He was pretty nice. The little bit of, actually, no, the little bit of conversation we did have. He was a nice guy. Um, and then there's this goth chick that I know who, she, um, like, she wears corsets and she has, like, this full-length skirt. And, and her name's, uh, Ariel. Bleh. I can't talk to you. I'm sorry. Her name's Ariel. And, yeah, you, you wouldn't think, like, oh, hey, my name's Ariel. Look at me. I'm one of the Disney princesses. No, she looks like, oh, my gosh, it's insane. Now she's like, oh, hi, my name's Ariel. And she talks exactly like that. It was weird. But, um. Yeah, so, I, t I was, I just, because I'm a friendly person, so I just say hi to everybody. And, um, so, finally, like, two days ago, the first goth kid, the one who had the long cascading hair and looked all menacing, sat down next to some chick, some hipster chick, who, for whatever reason, decided to show up on Wednesdays when all the goth kids show up, um, sat down next to her, and this is exactly what it sounded like. Oh my god, I love your bag. Oh my gosh, okay fiddle with his hair, fiddle with his hair. Okay, so this is what happened, and, um, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, um, are you kidding me? This whole time, this guy is all, like, dark, brooding, death, bleh. and, um, he's just like, Arr! but when he talks, he's like, and I don't even know what to say about it. I'm like, dude, seriously, what is your problem? Seriously, you can't fool people like that, okay? It's like, it, it, I don't even, it was just, it made no sense. I was like, dude, you're, um, not supposed to talk like a girl. And I understand maybe if you're gay, but at least you could talk a little less gay. I mean, normally that doesn't bother me. But if you're walking around posing like some hardcore goth kid and, um, that you're all dark and broody, but you really kind of talk like this and that, 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 then there's a problem. Okay. It messes with people's heads, and they expect you to, like, try to cast spell... Well, no, that's stereo that's totally stereotypical, but whatever. Okay, whatever. They expect you to cast spells on them and be like, Oh, I want your soul. Or just be really quiet, and when you do talk, don't really say anything. This guy would not shut up. He went on for, like, half hour uh, over this chick's purse, and how, Oh, is that a genuine Louis Vuitton? I was just like, dude, you need to shut up. Seriously, just shut up. It made no sense. And then there's this... Just, then there's this hip, one hipster chick, I get, no, yeah, I guess she's hipster, 
and her hair, for whatever reason, reminds me of Dippin' Dots. But I don't know why. It's not like it doesn't have dots. It's just she's got really long, wavy hair. It's blue, white, and... Yeah, it's blue, white, and pink. Kind of like cotton candy, like in cotton candy shades. But I look at her, I don't see cotton candy. I see Dippin' Dots for whatever reason. And I'm like, why do I see Dippin' Dots when I look at this chick? And I couldn't figure it out. I didn't understand. I was like, okay, cool, that chick has cool hair. And you know what I figured out? All hipster and any kids, is there like a rule where you have to have your septum pierced or something? Like, can you like not be indie or not be hipster if you don't have your septum pierced? I have yet to meet a stereotypical indie or a hipster kid that doesn't have their septum pierced. First, okay, I get it. I get it looks attractive on some people, but for the most part, no. Okay, you have to have the face for it. And then... What is it with you hipsters and your obsession with anchors? You are not a sea captain, okay? You are not a member of, you're not an ex-member of the Navy. You were not the freaking captain of the RMS Titanic. Anchors, you're not a boat. You do not need to get anchors tattooed on you. And this obsession with owls. Okay, I get it. Owls are fluffy and cute, but seriously, every single hipster in the world does not need to be obsessed with owls. It's ridiculous. Go get a life. And then trees. Hey, I'm going to get a tattoo of a tree on my wrist because I'm hipster. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? I have a tree on my wrist. That makes me deep. You you guys sound so moronic. And I get it, like, if you actually like stuff like that. But it, if you look exactly like everybody else, and you have the exact taste as everybody else, no one is going to take you seriously. Um... And then it's like, okay, and then seeing kids, there's this chick at my school. Okay, I don't even know who she is, but um, her hair, like, I, I had seen pictures of seeing queens before, but I, didn't, like, see, I guess I seriously underestimated how big their hair is. This girl's hair, I looked at it, I said, like, you know Buppets? I suspected that she had, like, four or five of them stacked on top of each other. And that her hair was, like, all the way out here, and I was like, dude, what the hell? And then she has hair extensions all over the place. And I was just like, and the thing is, she would be really, really pretty if she didn't look like such an idiot. Seriously, I get it what people do seeing hair, like, to get it big and poofy. Okay, big and poofy is, like, maybe that far. When you get to the point where you're, like, a foot off of your head, you need to stop, okay? There's a problem there. When you get to a point where you can't see your eyes because you have too much eyeliner on, then there's a problem, okay? And what is with all this never shout, never obsessiveness? Like, okay, I, I get why people like Never Shout Never, but I I don't know, maybe it's just my opinion. All of his songs sound the same, and he looks like a chick. And I get that if you're a lesbian, but, like, for everybody else, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, but, yeah, so basically, there's just a bunch of misfits at my school, and they, none of them make sense, and yeah. Bye-bye.